You better not be jumping on the bed. Hello. Here we are. I am finally feeling better. This is actually the day I'm finally feeling better. I woke up this morning still kind of feeling a little eh. And now here we are, afternoon. And... I know I see a brighter horizon. I'm changing out the kids' bed sheets. I changed out Dante's already. Oh, this lighting, so yellow in here. I like my bed. And now I'm getting ready to, <laughs> Dante. <laughs> Just like chill in there. For a moment there, I'm not even gonna lie, you guys, I forgot. I set him in the bed like that. I had to go to the bathroom so bad. And now that he's starting to kind of be mobile, I was like, mm, we're gonna just set you here. But he's just like, peacefully just sitting. Get Dante down for his last nap of the day. And while he is doing his last nap of the day, I think I'm gonna go ahead and prep dinner as I talked about in a previous video. I'm not the happiest with my body right now. There's gotta be some changes. I'm gonna do what I can. I feel like the first and foremost is to get back on cleaning up my diet. The exercise part will come when it comes because I'm still trying to just thrive during the rest of this deployment and finding that time for myself to really be able to get in the workouts like I used to do between COVID and everything else is really hard. Okay, so let's talk. All right, I'm gonna try to make this as quick, condensed as possible. If you're new to my channel, I had an old channel. On that old channel, I blew up and went viral from uh, being somebody to document my weight loss journey. I had lost over 115 pounds, uh, your girl was rocking it, and then I had babies, and now I'm fat again. That is the <laughs> condensed version. But nevertheless, I also haven't been making the best choices, especially after I had Sir Dante. Eating whole bags of cookies, no matter how hungry you are, even with breastfeeding, is still not okay. I want to say that it is over, which is both good and bad, but for my mental sake, um, I think this is going to be a good thing. This is what I wanted to do, and that is our breastfeeding journey has come to an end. Dante got COVID. Um, at only three, four months old, uh, it was scary. And with that, he did struggle to breathe with eating and everything. He was so congested. Uh, he started to lose weight. He wasn't getting enough wet diapers. And long story short, basically, I ended up needing to bottle feed. But more importantly, I needed to up the bottle. I knew what I was doing. Um, don't want to hear it down below if anybody has something opposite, like my baby had COVID and he needed to survive. Make it easier for him. I did up the nipple. I knew there was going to be a consequence to that, which was going to be that he was going to want the bottle afterwards. And he would still kind of latch and everything after COVID for probably mm, a couple of weeks, but he really started to just be more difficult with it. It was also really difficult for me solo momming, um, the way that life is here with things spread out, the way that my time was. And I know this sounds like me, 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 but at the end of the day, let's just be realistic. Like I do, I have to take care of myself. Like my cup has to be full. I can't pour from an empty cup. So I did to be able to pump and do different things. I had my LV pump, which really helped me for a good while to be able to pump, but really realistically, sitting down and pumping the amount that I needed to pump for him um, started to just become more stressful on me. And then I found myself with the stress having different levels of my milk. My milk had actually finally leveled off and I panicked a little bit because I was somebody, you guys, who was pumping a good 12 ounces a session and then it went down to six. And I know that someone would be like, that's still fantastic. And for me, I was freaking out. Um, went to the six, still was fine. And then I just said, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do what I can and just see where my body takes me. 
he ended up slowly but surely wanting just the bottle it worked for me too to be able to just pump have bottles ready and then that way i could like multitask and i wasn't strapped down to either just holding him and breastfeeding or sitting there and pumping like i really used the heck out of my lv and then at night i was pumping like a crazy person with my spectra but again i was losing sleep and i was just in this vicious vicious cycle and so here we are uh, he is now almost eight months and uh, I could pump right now but I would only get probably maybe like two ounces and this happened a couple days ago that I just decided we're we're done we're gonna fully just go to formula because I got my period my supply dramatically dropped you guys it was insane i was pumping and th by this point every pumping session was about four ounces so i would get four ounces and i kid you not the day that my period came back i pumped and i got barely rimming the cup i had to struggle and struggle just to get an ounce and i was like what is happening i thought it was because i had gone low carb or like was doing low carb and so I was like, well, maybe like, I don't want it to be this dramatic. I was like, let's up my carbs and stuff again. But that night I was in the midst of a grocery store and Aunt Flo came back. So I realized, okay, maybe this is my period. So I kept pumping and then I kept trying to make sure that I really was back on it of pumping, hydrating, just to still make sure my body didn't just completely dry up. But it was crazy, you guys, to be pumping all day just to maybe get four ounces for a whole day so in that very very long-winded way i just want to say that yes our journey did end i wanted to share this because if there's any other mom out there who is struggling or i know we're in a culture that feels like you have to be one way or the other you know best is breast fed is best people are like oh i'm so proud of this and stuff i am proud of myself and what i've done but i've also been in both ways and i've talked about this before i was unable to breastfeed with orion and it killed me i was determined to breastfeed with dante i am so thankful that god has blessed me to be able to do what i did for him but i it's okay to say i'm done Just hope that we're still okay You always pick me up and let me down We're spinning around, losing our minds Damned if we do, damned if we don't Damned if we give in what we want And I always pick you up and let you down We're spinning around, losing our minds Damned if we do Cooking? Cause it smells good, huh? Yeah, y'all. If I had smell o vision, the aroma right now in this house is phenomenal. Obviously, I didn't like it at all. So good. That's definitely gonna be in the recipe books and I will make that, including both the boys liked it too. Um, this is actually the meat that I have had him gnawing on. We do kind of a mix, I would say, mm -hmm. of regular food and baby led weaning because my heart can't handle 
all of the um, like baby led waiting aspects. Like when I saw him getting ready to like choke, I was like, oh, I can't. And I know that they say that they're just working it out, but it just makes me too nervous. So some things may be comfortable, some things don't. This, because of the way that the meat is, he's not really breaking off pieces and stuff. He's just kind of really gnawing it down. Um, and mad that he ran out of it. Um, can I talk? Mom, can I please talk? Today. And so when my mom tries to get the meat, then he gets a big piece. And then so when my mom takes it away from him, Dante tries to try to get it from my mom. This was delicious, and I'm still in my... I'm making my flatbread. Apron. Bed I made. I don't sleep much at all these days. Cause you always pay me.